Okay, so if you're on the market for a brand new tripod, then this video is going to be very useful for you. As you can see in front of me, I have four tripods here. They range from different prices. So the cheapest one on the left side of me is 30 pounds and the most expensive one over here is 140 pounds. Now, if you're going to buy a tripod, and you're just going to use it to put your camera on or your phone on and you're going to leave it as stationary when you're doing your filming then you may not need to look for any specific tripod any of these can do all of that very easily so if i was you i would just go for the cheapest one if you're only going to use it for this purpose now with those price differences as you can see on the screen they also come with various different reasons why they are these prices and they range from like the design and the features of the actual tripod and also the durability, the versatility and the materials of it. And I'm going to be going through one by one of each of these tripods and the different use cases that they actually provide you. So let's go ahead and start off with the cheapest one. I'm going to run through how it works, some of the specifications around the features and how the design is, and then what you can basically use it for. And hopefully this will give you a great guidance on which tripod is going to be the most convenient for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the cheapest one. This comes in at only 30 pounds, so it's very affordable. This is called the SD tripod, and this goes all the way up to 70 inches, and the maximum payload for this is four kilograms only. One of the purpose I would use this is simply just to place my camera on or even my phone if I have a phone mount and that's it. Let's just take a closer look at the design. Starting off with the legs, these have clip legs and I actually prefer the clip ones more than the twist ones. It's very quick and easy to do and you can reposition the height however you like. At the top it has a release plate that comes off of a switch like that. It has like a lock lever, you just slot it out and then you can just put it back in and push it in there. It has a quarter 20 inch screw just there at the top as well, so that's very universal. Now this doesn't have a ball head, so you can't get that fluid positioning however you like. This has a linear motion, so this will only go up and down vertically and horizontally left and right, and you can rotate it 360 degrees. So to tilt it upwards, you just twist the handle, and then vertically, you just position it up and down, and it is very quick and easy, it's smooth, and it works quite well. To go horizontally, you have this little circular knob just on the left hand side. You loosen this, this will allow you to go left and right using the handle as well, and again, it's a very smooth motion. To adjust the height of the actual head of the tripod, there's a little valve at the back, you just need to loosen this, like so, and then you have a lever that you pull out and then you twist. So this is quite a nice thing. You can even just use your hand like so, but the lever just gives you that precision of the exact height that you want this to be at. Then you just push it down when you are at the position you want to keep it at, and then you lock the valve at the back. So this is a very simple, portable, very easy to carry tripod and for the most people that are just going to use this to put their camera on, this is a very good option. So if you do want to take this with you, when you do close all of the legs, you push this up. This actually has a little carry handle as well, which is quite nice. And then you can take it with you just like this. So this is the SD tripod and it's a very good value for money option for those that are on a budget. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, next is the National Geographic 62 inch tripod, which has a max payload of six kilograms. Again, it's very similar to the previous one. It does have those clips for the adjustable legs, as you can see, very easy to use, like so, and I'll make it a little bit taller. There we go. Not only that, you can also adjust the width of each of the three legs on the tripod by this little switch just at the top of each leg as well. So you just press it down and then you can pull the legs out to how wide you want the tripod to be, which would give it a little bit more stability if you do have this a little bit wider than more narrower. It also has a monopod just there in the middle that has an adjustable height. So you just twist it and it comes up. And then you have a very basic ball head just along the top as well. It has a little lever that you twist then you can 360 degree in any direction, move the ball head. 
Then you also have the quarter 20 inch release plate at the top as standard as well with a little bubble meter just on the top on the left hand side of the release plate. So this is a very basic tripod and again it's very good value for money and it is very affordable. One use case that I see myself using this for in addition to just putting my camera or my phone on top of this is actually setting this up with a projector plate so I can then project my home movies at night using my theatre system using this tripod. And here's an example. So I have my projector just placed on top of the plate. Very easy and it's adjustable with the ball head as well to get the perfect angle to make sure it is straight. Now I've not had any problems using this as a projector tripod. It can really handle the weight quite well. It's very sturdy and this is a very good use case if you are looking for a tripod to hold your projector and to get you the best experience for your home cinematic viewing. Okay, so number three, this is the Andoa 78 inch overhead tripod and this comes in at 60 pounds. The max payload on this is eight kilograms, so it is heavy duty. So if you wanted to mount a lot of equipment on this, this should be able to handle it very well. So looking at the quick design, let's start off with the legs as usual. This one has the twisted legs. So you have three different points to extend the legs out like so. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And also, as with the previous tripod, you can make the width of each of the legs even wider. You just need to pull out this little clip and then you can twist the legs higher up so that it's further out in terms of width and then you lock it back into place. You can also extend this twice with the monopod in the middle. So you have the large twisted knob just there first. Then you have the second smaller one inside that, which makes it go even higher. Then you also have the overhead arm that's attached to the top of this and you can angle this very easily horizontally. So you just twist the valve just there and then it goes horizontally like this. And this is very great to get overhead shots, but you can even extend the height of this even further with the next valve and this goes vertically up and down like so. So this is going to be very convenient for you to capture those top down shots. Maybe if you're doing unboxing videos, this is going to be very useful. And as with the previous ball head, it's exactly the same. You've got the release plate, you've got the fluid ball motion in any direction. You can twist this left and right as well to get the perfect angle. So one thing I really use this more than anything for is to get a lot of top down shots. And here's an example. So here you can see, I've added a little sandbag as well for a bit of counterweight on the clip just at the end on the overhead arm. And I've angled it like this and using the ball head, I've positioned it vertically downwards. So this is going to be very convenient to do an unboxing video of anything just on the desk itself. So this is very heavy duty and it can handle a lot of payloads, so eight kilograms worth of weight for your camera. If you've got a very large lens and then you have some microphone or a light attached to it, it should be able to handle this very well. So this is going to be convenient for those people that are looking not just to do straight ahead standard filming of yourself, but also looking at the versatility of doing overhead shots. So this tripod or any tripod that you get, which has an overhead arm is going to be very convenient for you. Okay, and finally, my favorite one, this is the KNF Concept 72 inch aluminum tripod. This is 140 pounds and it does have a max payload of eight kilograms. And you can see from just the size of the legs, how heavy duty this is actually going to be. So let's just start off with the legs. Now there's two points that can help you extend this. The valve at the top, if you twist this, this pulls out the two outermost parts of the aluminum legs and this will help you extend it a lot larger, a lot taller. Then you have the one at the bottom that brings out the single leg in the middle and then you can tighten that to whichever height it works for you. So let me go ahead and just make this a little bit larger from all sides. So I'm gonna unscrew each of these, bring it taller and you do have a bubble level meter just underneath the release plate there. Once you're happy, you tighten that like so. Now you'll notice that the head itself is actually much larger than any of the previous tripods. This can take a lot of weight on it and this is actually built for heavy duty filming equipment in mind. So let's just start off with the arm here. Now if I just loosen it left, you can reposition or just place it downwards when you don't want it to come in the way. Whichever works for you, just to tighten it like that. 
when you're actually ready to then tilt this vertically, you've got the little valve just on the left and the fluid motion from minus 70 to plus 90 degrees in a linear vertical motion is very smooth. And then you can tighten that. And then the one just underneath next to it, this will go in a 360 degree horizontal fluid motion as well. So you can get the perfect shots with just this fluid motion head here. Now, of course, if you want to move it in like a 360 degree rotation of the actual ball underneath, you can do that by just twisting the part right underneath in the middle of the tripod. And as you see, this actually can go in any direction. If you just want to level it out and make it absolutely flat, then you do that. You look at the bubble meter just underneath and then you tighten it when you have it in the right position. Now this does have a universal quarter 20 inch thread on the release plate, but this also comes with the 3 8 thread to have more of the larger equipments fit more comfortably on top of that release plate. To take the release plate out, you just loosen it from the right hand side. You hold down this orange button and it slips out like that. Then you place it back in and then you tighten it again. Now this I can see myself using for a very specific purpose. To get the best B-roll footage for all of my filming, I'd like to use a motorized slider with my camera sitting on top. So let's just take a look at that in action and how well this handles it. And here we go. I've got my top rig S60 attached to the release plate on the KNF Concept tripod. I've got an additional ball head that I've just put on top of the motorized slider. And then I have my camera on top of that. This handles it very well. The slider itself does not move. It's so heavy duty that you can be sure no matter which angle you position this on, you should be able to get the most smoothest footage for your filming. So you can even tilt this vertically as well and at an angle. So let's see how well that handles it because this slider is not going to be comfortable enough to be handled by any of the previous tripods. And there you can see, I've got it at the maximum angle that I can and the footage is going to be very smooth. So the convenience of having such a heavy duty tripod like this to be able to handle this level of equipment, I think is very important. And this is going to be one of my favorite tripods that I've purchased thus far. So there we have it. Those are all of the four tripods that I wanted to showcase and hopefully that video helped you understand which one might be right for you. Now I just really wanna talk about branding for a little bit. This one at the start, the 30 pound one was by a brand called SD. They no longer are selling this or pretty much any other tripod. I think when you're looking for a brand of a tripod as well, that is as equally important as the quality and actually the features of the tripod itself. Because this one I feel like just doesn't exist that much, I'm also going to have to put an alternative link that's closely matched to this exact specification. National Geographic, of course, that's a very large company. They don't very much specialize in specifically tripods and filming accessories as maybe some of the other brands, but the quality is very great and I was really happy with the reviews that I've seen for this online as well. Andoa, of course, they are also another big company, especially when it comes to filming accessories. This specific tripod is no longer for sale on Amazon and I couldn't find it anywhere. So again, I'm going to have to provide an alternative link to the one that's closely matched to this overhead tripod. Last but not least, KNF Concept, Kent's Faith. This is my favorite brand, especially when it comes to filming accessories. They have a whole load of tripods and loads of other equipment that you're probably going to need or you may have purchased a lot of their products in the past. When you do type in tripod on Amazon, for example, they will pop up more than any other brand. For me personally, and I think this is their motto as well, they are the first choice for photo and video accessories for filming. This quality tripod here, I just feel like I've never bought any other tripod that's as good as this one. And when I do browse the Kent Faith website, there's so many things that I just want to buy that I actually need for my filming. But if you are interested in something like this, then even better, I have a 10% discount code for you. Check it out in the description, it's trending reviews. Make sure you do check out their website. You can use that discount code on pretty much anything you'd like. And for me, in a lot of my filming that I'm going to be doing, 
I will be using this because I know I'm going to get the smoothest footage when I am using the handle with the fluid head, when I use my motorized slider. This is just an all round general purpose that I can use for everything. That's it guys, so hopefully that was very useful. If you did like this video, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe. I've got really cool videos coming out all the time and I will see you all at the next one. Take care.